Well, Memorial Day is right around the corner, and what a great weekend to get out and enjoy all the hard work you've done. And, you know, one of the ways I like to enjoy that hard work is by having a great meal. I'm here with Jerry Yost from Gartner's, and what's the address of your location? There? 7450 Northeast Killingsworth. Right, they're on Killingsworth, and let me tell you, he is going to go through some steps on making amazing barbecue. I got to ask, what, what are we cooking up here right now? Well, we got the marinated short ribs that uh, they're. Oh, our, Lordy, look at that. Our number one seller. <laughs> we normally sell about four to 5,000 pounds of these on any given holiday. Pounds. Weekend pounds. That's oh, correct. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're super easy to cook. Anybody can do them. They cook really fast, about three, four minutes a side. You really can't mess them up. Now, I noticed that you also have potatoes in here. Is there a, a timing issue involved with all of this? Well, generally the potatoes on even any, any grill of any type usually take about 45 minutes. So if you put them on a little earlier than your meal and you can feel that they're nice and soft and that's how you can tell they're done. Yep, they sure are. So you can actually put these on and then do other preparations because you said these Correct. go on for how long? Uh, these are about three to four minutes aside on the ribs and the, and the potatoes are about 45 so minutes. So yeah, that, that, that'd be a perfect timing. Now. I can tell you that my grill at home does not look like this. This, this looks like the Cadillac of grills. <laughs> it, it's a Traeger grill. It's a little, it's a little different grill. It's a, it's a pellet grill. It runs on all natural pellets, works a little bit like a convection oven, indirect heating, uh -huh. so nothing ever flames up. Or but if you don't have the, the joy of having a Traeger grill and you just have a little charcoal grill, the, the basic sure. principles still apply. Absolutely, yeah, it's the same principle. They all cook about the same temperature. The Traeger, you can just control a little differently. You know, I think it's, it's wonderful to see this because a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this myself, hamburgers and hot dogs, we right. think that's the simplest thing to do. But right. if you're looking at something like this that's marinated, Right. Four and minutes on each side, that can't be difficult. And, you know, four ninety eight a pound, and they're, they're a super crowd pleaser. Yeah, and, and, and the whole city of Portland could go to Killingsworth because right. it's right there in the middle, kind right. of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, looking over here at this table, there's a lot more involved than just meat and potatoes. You've got all kinds of stuff well, laid you, out You know, here. you can just put together a quick salad, maybe some fruits and stuff like that. And, and that way, you know, when you've been out in the garden all day long and you don't want to heat up the house. The last exactly. thing you want is a hot house. So you got a full meal. You got a salad, you got the meat and the potatoes, and you never had to heat up the house. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to take a couple of minutes here and try some of this food out. I, um, I'm really excited about trying it too. Yeah, <laughs> Thank it's you ready. so much. You here you have Thank a, you. a great, great, great grill here. I love the grill, and I love what you're cooking here. So you all can just keep watching television, and we're going to have a little bite of this.